The PVC recycling project has been fantastic for staff. At every level the staff are concerned about the footprint of their practice. PVC recycling is an important way that they can reduce the environmental impact of, of healthcare. The PVC program is about recycling PVC, saving money and uh, using a valuable resource rather than chucking it into the tip. Yeah, once you know what to do and like the actual process of recycling, it's really easy, it takes no time at all. Any, any bit for the environment is a good thing. The items that we can identify that are PVC products are oxygen masks, oxygen tubing, fluid bags, irrigation bags. So here at Sunbury, we're very passionate about our recycling and in particular PVC. Nothing here goes in the bin if it can be recycled. To be able to recycle the PVC intravenous bags, we have to remove the burette and the giving set. We do that just by cutting it off at the bottom. There's a sharp spike enclosed in here. If we cut it off at the bottom, that sharp spike stays enclosed. Everything stays safe. This line then goes into general waste and then I empty the bag and it goes into the PVC recycling bin. Spike enclosed into general waste. Leftover fluid, drained, and then into the PVC bin. This is a fairly typical scene in a clinical setting with a plaster scissors at the sink and some bags draining from the treatment that's been. So what we do is cut the two ports off the irrigation bag, put the ports in the landfill and the PVC bag in the PVC recycling stream. What we don't want to see is the bag cut to drain and then the whole bag into the recycling because these ports need to come off, they're not PVC. So they go to landfill and the bag to recycling. So for oxygen masks and tubing, we have to be quite safe about what we're doing. So we have to pull this oxygen mask apart and we, to do that we use some archery forceps and some scissors to remove all the pieces and keep it safe. So initially what we'll do is remove the tubing, it goes straight into the PVC recycling. I will cut off the face strip and then that just goes into general waste and for the metal like that. That can go into general waste or it can also go into aluminium recycling. And then we're left now with the mask with a plastic nib. So we remove the plastic nib. We now have PVC mask in the bin there and plastic nib in the general waste. At the end of the, each day, I come round, seat the bin, take it to the sluice room, check all of the uh, bags, IV bags, the masks. I would take the elastic off, the metal, take that off the tubing off and then that goes into this recycling bin. It's easy, just only about five minutes. We need good clean material. If the material's too dirty or has lots of labels or you know the giving sets or other foreign matter in there then basically just blocks our machine and some of that's not doing it right kind of ruins all that good work from you know the people that are doing it correctly. Also recognising when a bag can't be recycled because it's got it's blood contaminated and you don't want to have any bags that are going through for recycling if it's contaminated otherwise you're going to have a, a load that's going to be discarded. Some people do get a little bit confused about what goes where and what they should do. The key message for that would be not to um, put your waste in the PVC recycling or any other stream of waste if you're not sure where to put it. So the PVC recycling process is a part of our practice. It's completely embedded and when new staff come into the department and they're orientated, it's, a, it's very much a part of their orientation to our practice in the dialysis unit. It's just what we do. Someone taking that IV bag off the ward and putting it in somewhere, it's going to something that you know people can see. It's a great concept.
Matter as a company, we're looking for probably 40 tonnes of scrap PVC per week. The amount we get from the hospitals, if we had every hospital in New Zealand and every hospital in Australia that was collecting medical waste just for us, we probably would still not have enough material. So the more we get, the, the better. It's a good source of material and um, we just wish we could get more of it.